Team Giannis taking on Team LeBron. These teams were drafted right before tip-off for the 2023 All-Star Game live from Salt Lake City, Utah. And who better than the NBA's all-time leading scorer to kick off this highlight, LeBron, with the self-alley using the left hand, catching it with both hands, not to be outdone by Jason Tatum, who goes self-alley himself. Ja doesn't go self-alley, but you know when he gets that rock with open space, he gets filthy. Then on the other end, it's the king again, LeBron, knocking in the D3 as Jalen Brown throws it down. After the first quarter, these two teams were tied at 46. They would split $100,000, both going to charity, 50 apiece. In the second quarter, scary sight, LeBron's going to jam his hand trying to block Pascal Siakam. He finished the second quarter, believed his bad boy with a hand contusion. So some of the young guys would get a couple more minutes. Giannis only played a play, by the way. You saw Larry marketing and John Morant with some more throwdowns. There's LeBron still in the game in the second with his signature tomahawk jam. But on the other end, it's Damian Lillard with the three-pointer. Dame won a three-point shootout just the day before. Mitchell in the third was trying to win a three-point shootout versus Jason Tatum. He was unreal. How about Mitchell? 40 points just going off from three. Team Giannis, by the way, taking a commanding lead here in the third quarter. Large part due to Mitchell, Lillard, and Tatum all going off. Jason Tatum had 27 points in the third. Team Giannis would obviously win that quarter. And in the fourth, it was all about Tatum putting on a show, about to set an all-star game record, that three-pointer, his 10th Tatum with an all-star game record, 55 points, also 10 rebounds. That free throw gave him the record. Team Giannis closing in on the target score, which was 182 in who better than Damian Lillard? It's game time, which means it's game time. Jason Tatum named your all-star game MVP in honor of the late, great Kobe Bryant as Team Giannis beats LeBron. It's Team LeBron's first defeat since we implemented the captain rules. There was a lot of chatter coming out of this all-star game. A lot of chatter. We're going to get into it. First things first, though, if you enjoyed that highlight, from NBA All-Star Game 2023, crafted, created, developed, edited, all that great stuff by yours truly, Hoops Ferro. Make sure you're subscribing to this channel. I love the support. We do a lot of views that, that doesn't end up with a subscription. Come on, let's cut that out. Let's make this partnership, this relationship official. Subscribe to my channel at Hoops Ferro right now for more quality, great content. It's your time, love, and support that we don't take for granted around here. I'm very appreciative of the love. Let's make this relationship official. Subscribe to my channel right now for more of your boy. We got a lot coming your way second half of the season. Highlights just like this happen every single night of the season. I'm about to take a couple days to kind of relax and get ready to give you guys some incredible content these last 20, 23 games of the season and obviously the playoff stretch. I ain't got no trips booked. Y'all got me. Look, last year around this time, I was getting ready for a wedding, my own wedding. I was getting married. So I was in and out. Actually, actually, my wedding took place during the conference finals. I was trying to get work done as much as I could, but it was tough, man. Your boy was getting married. I was tying a knot. I ain't getting married this year. The ring is already on. I'm good money. Y'all got me this postseason undivided attention obviously god willing so please make sure you subscribe to the platform it's what means the most to me right now all right now back to this chatter coming out of this all-star game let's be clear there were coaches mike malone was one of them one of the head coaches there um of team lebron uh, i heard Jalen brown one of the players in this all-star game a guy that actually had 35 points if i'm not mistaken there was a lot of chatter of how bad this game was and I didn't want to be the person to say it without somebody else saying something. But this was not an, a fun watch. The third quarter was pretty fun because Mitchell, Tatum, and, and Lillard, and Jalen Brown and, and Tatum was fun late. The third quarter was pretty cool. But outside of the third quarter, 
this was not a good All Star game. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I can't lie to y'all. I'm just. I'm, I, y'all know I love basketball. I love covering the NBA night in, night out. It's a privilege, an honor, a dream of mine. But uh, I, my the the number one thing I owe you guys is the truth. That's what y'all pay me to do is be myself and and come into with this platform with integrity every day. Um, that was not an enjoyable game for three out of the four quarters. It was not. The, it's not the lack of defense that bothers me. I I think because that's that, there are a lot of All Star games that that lack defense. It, it's just a lot of other stuff, man. I. I'll tell y'all, I'll tell I'll be honest with y'all, right? LeBron comes out and holds the league down pretty much for the last 20 years, right? Definitely the last, let's say, 10 straight. I, I always say LeBron became the face of the league the year he went to Miami. That's when I believe he took the torch from Kobe Bryant officially as the face of the league. When he went to Miami, he was the biggest storyline in the league. Remember, for about a couple years, there's the biggest story of the league was Kobe versus LeBron. We never got that finals matchup. One year Kobe made it, one year LeBron made it. When Once LeBron went to Miami, though, it was all about him, and it's been about him for the last decade and some change. LeBron's held the league down for at least a decade now. I, I say that for a reason. I need other guys to hold these games down. LeBron needs to get to the playoffs. LeBron don't need to be exerting. Hell, he, he ended up getting injured in that game, as we've shown you in the highlight. He don't need to be playing that hard in games like that. It's got to be about other guys. I saw a few guys, they're going to say I'm picking on John Morant, but I, I did see John Morant's energy not where it needed to be for this game. This second straight year that he's, you know, been blessed to make the game, this year he was a starter, you know, as a replacement for the, for the chef, was not where it needed to be in this game. The energy wasn't there. He, you know, he really took the game off. Jaron Jackson, since we're talking about Memphis, Another guy that wasn't there, Nikolai Jokic. I'm calling guys out. Luka. Man, these guys were not invested in this game. Luka, I, 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 pretty much we heard him the other day say he was ready to go to Mexico for a break. I get it. I know these guys got a lot going on. I know they're tired and their minds are on championships. But if LeBron can compete hard and win multiple MVPs, damn, man, y'all can't keep just getting over now. Like, come on, bro. Giannis and LeBron compete hard. Giannis might have a broken wrist, by the way. He might. I don't know, but he's going to New York tomorrow to get it checked out. The man literally loves the game so much, 99% of the league would have just said, I'm out for this game. He literally gets out there with one hand and goes out there and dunks the first two points down and gets himself out of the game. He loves it that much. He had to do something. That's how much he loves it. You, you, he's on the sideline coaching. It's tearing him up on the inside to not be in that game. LeBron knows for the betterment that he shouldn't be doing it. He, he literally injures his hand trying to play defense in a game where nobody was playing defense. He literally had a chase down block in this game. Like, it wasn't the fact that there was not a lot of defense played in the, in the earlier quarters. I think what bothers me is at least half of the guys – just seemingly weren't into it. I could have named more guys, but those were the guys that stood out to me. I do want to shout out some guys. Shout out Tatum. Damian Lillard was shooting mostly threes, but at least he was trying. Kyrie also did try as well. Give Kyrie some credit. He had 30 plus in this one. He at least tried. You know, I, I, there was some guy. I think Kyrie had 32 and 15. There were some guys that tried. Overall, though, the, the, it just wasn't there. The energy, the effort wasn't there from enough guys. And look, I know to some it's a meaningless game, but there are some fans out there that will never see anything close to that amount of celebrities in the building again. That was that was a kid's dream. And, you know, I just want the best performance put on for the fans. And I just don't think if I were trying to convince somebody to watch the NBA All-Star game going forward, I just don't think that game would do it. Maybe you thought differently, though. Let me know in the comment section below. What did you think about the All-Star game? This year from Salt Lake City, you got coaches, players saying it was some of the worst basketball that was ever played. I think Jalen Brown said it was the worst game ever played. As a matter of fact, literally, hopefully you didn't think this video was the worst video you've ever watched. If you got to this point, that means you really rock with me. If you really rock with me, please make sure you are subscribed to this platform. It is truly the way that we show advertisers, everybody out there that we're growing in a major way. 
the NBA, everybody. We, we got we to gotta grow this thing to great lengths. And it's with your love, support, and your time, obviously, that we get to those goals. If you enjoyed this highlight, enjoyed your boy, Pharaoh, make sure you subscribe to the platform. 100K is on the way. I'm out.